inscription on this beautiful Hanukkah menorah reads as follows. Parents teach their children to walk, Chani and Jay sharing one heart with the children and families of Oel have enabled thousands to fly. Guests of honor, Chani and Jay Kestenbaum, 44th Annual Gala, November 24th, 2013, 22nd of Kislev, 5774, Moish Hellman, Mel Zach, the co-presidents, Eugene Gluck, Gala Chairman, David Mandel, Chief Executive Officer. Ladies and gentlemen, if anyone ever deserve a huge ovation, it's Jay and Chani, people of Chachma, of Yera, and certainly of humility. Please join me as we ask Jay to say his few words. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much, Moish, Mel, Fred, Sonny, especially Eugene. I'm going to call on you at 120 years. I'd like to begin by thanking Eugene Gluck, whose good name has always been associated with Chesed and the great work he does for so many worthwhile organizations worldwide. I've always believed that his support of OHEL coincides with his wonderful and incredible support of Betel and helping Jews on both sides of the world. Special regards to his wonderful wife, Jean. May you both be blessed with many years of health and nachas and happiness for all you do for so many. The honor you've given Ohel and Chani and me for being Gala chairman cannot be expressed in words. Thank you, Eugene. <laughs> 20 years ago, when my dear friend Fred Shulman and his family were honored at this dinner and dedicated the Milton and Molly Shulman foster care program after their dear parents. I was very moved, actually moved by Fred, to join OHEL's incredible team and get involved. From other board meetings I've been to at other organizations, I find that many people come back upset about different things. They complain about things that didn't go right or didn't go as planned, or they complain about just attending at all. I can tell you that in 20 years, I rarely come back from an OL board meeting without being uplifted, exhilarated, and excited about the things going on in this organization. Every board meeting has a presentation by a client to give us a glimpse of the incredible work being done and lives being changed by OL. I remember one particular meeting. There was a presentation by a young lady who is in Base Ezra vocational training program and was working two and a half days a week at a clothing store sorting inventory. She spoke about the great work she does and that she loved what she did even though it was only two and a half days a week. She was asked many questions and answered beautifully until she was asked a question by David, if you had a million dollars, what would you do with it? She thought for a while and said, I would buy myself a full-time job. You can't leave a meeting like that without calling every person you know and telling them that story. The hope and satisfaction that oil gives and brings to so many is just incredible. Being involved in OHEL is a truly humbling experience. I've never seen so many people walking around thanking others for just thanking them. Just walk around Camp Cayley with Harvey and Gloria, as I've done many times, and listen to them continuously thanking everyone for doing such a great job and making them feel so good that they can help so many people. I'm humbled by Maish Hellman and Mel Zachta for their unbelievable hours and commitment for being the pillars of this organization. I'm humbled by David Mandel and Amy and Robert and Miriam Laurie 
and by the whole staff and so many others, it would take an hour to describe all the amazing things that go on. One of the greatest benefits of joining the OHEL board is that several times a year before the Chagim, you get a call from Mosh Hellman. Wherever you are in the world, he will find you. And after getting a bracha from Mosh Hellman for you and your family, you really feel like there's no need to daven anymore in shul because you've already been blessed. And it's a bracha from a great Kohen also. And how does one stand up a year after hearing Hindu Mizrahi speak so beautifully? Don't worry, Hindi, I'm not going to compete with you. There's no way that anyone can compete with that speech. But if you want to hear it, go to the OHEL website, and I urge you to, and listen to what she said last year. I've done it a few times this past year, and it's worthwhile. Khani and I are so proud that we've been allowed to help join in helping this great organization. There's much to hear and see on the website, journals, videos, several of which I'm proud to say were done by my son, Eitan. And if you really... <laughs> and if you really want to know what OHEL's about, pick up the phone and make a call to visit one of OHEL's homes or stop by Camp Cayley. You'll be happy you did. I have a few thank yous I'd like to say. First, I would like to thank your Rabboni Shalom for all he has blessed us with. I want to give a special thanks to my incredible staff at Airgas, tables 43 and 44. They have helped me personally and given me the time and space and much help to allow me to help and do what I can for OHEL. You're a pleasure to work with. I want to thank my dear children, to Jonathan Dubby coming into Israel this weekend, and Heidi, Danielle, Eitan, Benji, and Joseph for allowing Khani and I to miss basketball games, hockey games, plays, parent-teacher conferences, and so many other obligations which they knew about and agreed were not as important as spending time helping those at OL, especially parent-teacher conferences. <laughs> I want to thank my dear parents and my mother-in-law and father-in-law, Oliver Shalom, for all they have done in instilling in us an understanding of what true chesed is and the, and the obligation that we all have to help others. On that note, I'd like to say a few important words about Harvey and Gloria Cayley, who are true role models and from whom all we can all learn. I especially want my family and my children to hear this message. Harvey and Gloria are the happiest people in the world. They get such nachas from giving to and helping others. They, they live a good life too, which they so genuinely deserve. As I always try to teach you, it is so important to both enjoy every blessing that God has given us, while at the same time sharing it with others. It is great to go on a fantastic cruise. It is great to come and show up at this gala dinner in a new car or in a new suit. God gave it to you. Enjoy it. But at the same time, share it. Know that it all comes from Nirvana Shalom, from God above, each and every blessing that we have. And we are all required, we have an obligation to help someone else while not allowing ourselves to be upset about it. Khani and I have always tried to live this way and of all the blessings we have and all the good things in life that we've been given, giving to OL is also one of our true joys in life. Achron, achron, chaviv. Finally, thanks to my dear wife, Khani, for her love and constant support. <clears throat> I thank you for everything and hope that we can do this dinner again in another 37 years. Thank you all and enjoy the rest of the program and evening. Thank you. Thank you.